human, 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 human. Everybody, it's the D Rock Benanja. Welcome back to my Pokemon Crystal in the last part. We've been, we got here to Ecrotique City, took care of the Burn Tower, got in ourselves an EV, and we took care of our rival. We also then awakened the beasts. But anyway, in this episode, we're going to be conquering the gym. But real quickly, off screen, I leveled up a bit, and you also may be noticing this. Remember that egg that the um that the daycare man was having? Was the actually planning on giving it to me from earlier? Guess what? It actually hatched into this little Pichu. So it's currently level five. So I want to quickly show you guys that. I also went ahead and took care of these trainers off screen, just for some more experience grinding. But I'll get started to show you my team real quick. A good buddy Dracula here has yet to change anything. Quang, so I actually went and learned the Amnesia off screen. Um, Growlithe hasn't changed much. Actually, I'm... <laughs> Dizzy Punch! That's, that's, like, that's so cute! I love it! <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> uh, Weedleaf actually went and learned Synthesis off screen. I got rid of Reflect for that. And Eevee actually went and learned Quick Attack off screen. So that's uh, awfully nice. So it got up a few levels. Okay. Like I said, I already took care of these trainers off screen. So that's. Oops. Uh, try it again. There we go. Alright, Morty. Let's talk to you. <clears throat> Good of you to have come. Here at Ecritique, the Pokemon has been breezing for. I don't know. It said that if a rainbow colored Pokemon will have come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more, with a little more, I could see a future in which I meet the Pokemon of Rainbow Colors. You're going to help me reach that level. Yes! This starts off with the Battle of Morty. His entire team is the Ghastly line. He has four Pokemon. The first one is going to be a Ghastly, level 21, Ghost Poison type with Lick, Spite, Mean Look, and Curse. All of his Pokemon! No. Curse? I done wrong. All of his Pokemon, no mean luck. He is a trapper. I highly recommend you take this these enemies down quick. See, look at that. Already went down in one bite. Alright, anyway. Next up is a Haunter. He has two Haunters. Which one is this? Okay. This one is level 21. Ghost Poison type with Hypnosis, Curse, Mimic, and Nightshade. Very interesting Haunter. But I gotta say, Haunter has some of the weirdest sprite names. Well, not sprite names, but um. Voice. The sound that it makes when it comes out of the field, because it has the most recurring sound that I've ever heard. I can't be the only one that notices that. And I'm sorry if I keep tripping over my words like this. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Oh, hello! Up next is his most powerful Pokemon, Gengar, level 25, Ghost Poison type, Hypnosis, Mean Look, Shadow Ball, Dream Eater. This is a, a Cursed Sleeper. I highly recommend. Okay. Don't do that to me! Okay. Okay, not again! Ah! I thought I could go with the rest of that battle without him going to sleep. Damn it! And I don't think I have any items that can wake me up, right? Nope. Um, one of the trainers that I was working with off-screen actually 
was a person that I could trade phone numbers with, and she will actually give you a Thunderstone. And, ah, shit. That hurts a lot. Ugh. Unfortunately, Geronimo unfortunately died in his sleep. Again. Oh, well, sort of. Okay. Uh, Dracula, get back out there! Show him who's the true ruler of darkness! And somehow I'm faster than it! Okay. Ah! Flinch! You know what? Let's go for a confuse ray. I gotta say, that was kinda creepy. Just seeing the sprite animation of the confuse ray and just watching Gengar and. Oh, come on! Again! With the thing! At least hit yourself. Please? Thank you. Okay, so I'm guessing he's gonna use a potion. What is it with these two guys not using their items? Hm. Oh crap, I forgot! Uh shit, um, Let's go for a water gun. Ah, oh, man, I was not prepared for this. Okay, just enough with the hypnosis, okay? I just want to go through the rest of my life without any more of that. What did I just say? These guys never listen to me. Unfortunately, I don't think Quagmire's gonna be waking up anytime soon. But this is... This is a nightmare! But thank God none of his Pokemon no nightmare. Cause I'll tell you one thing, that is probably one of the most downright scariest moves that I've ever seen. And my God, I don't think I'm gonna win this one. This... May complicate things a bit. Um, actually, you know what? I got an idea. Look cute for a moment. Wait, do I even have any revives? Nope. Um, at least do something! At least you tried. You did good. I could be screwed! So, let's try to raise relief and... Oh. And that was only a critical. That's not good. Okay. We can just stop with the hypnosis. We should be running low on that pretty soon. Because I would really, really want to go through the rest of this. And would you... God damn it. And unfortunately, my Eevee's not going to do anything because it's just... Not going to survive this. Ugh. Okay, like I said, this guy is has a dream eater right here. Now, can you please wait? Never mind. You know what? I'm not gonna win this one, so I'll be right back. So until I defeat him. Okay, I'm back. I actually just defeated his Gengar with with my Dracula still intact. Okay, so anyway, level 26. He's now my strongest. Yay! All right. His last Pokemon, Haunter, level 23, Ghost Poison type, Sprite, Mean Look, Mimic, and Nightshade. Not a very good... Yeah, not a very good Haunter, if you ask me. I don't know why. Okay. Ugh. All right. Guess my bite is worse than its than my bark. Okay. There we go. Done like dinner. 
And it's also level 25. Yay! Peter Morty was defeated. I'm not good enough yet. Alright, this badge is yours. 2300. Yay! You received the Fog Badge. By having the Fog Badge, Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you. Also, Pokemon that know Surf will be able to use that move anytime. I want you to have this too. TM30, which contains Shadow Ball. Alrighty. It's Shadow Ball. It can damage and make reduce special defense. Use it if you appeal to you. Um, about that. Um, that would probably be a whole lot better if Ghost was counted as special in this game. But unfortunately, it is actually counted as physical. So, that really hinders it a lot. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and teach Shadow Ball to Eevee. To make it at least a little more effective in battle. So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Tail Whip for this. So now let's move on. I'm gonna go ahead and heal really quick. And then we wanna head off for one more place that we need to go to here at um Accuracy City. And that is actually the dance theater. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and rearrange our team a little bit. I just want to go ahead and put Eevee out in front. Just for... Just for reasons. Okay. And I believe it's this place. Um, who are you? Not only are the Kimo Girls great dancers, they're also scared of Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never even left a scratch. Lad, if you can defeat them all, all Kimo Girls will give you a gift. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Let's go ahead and start off uh, with the first battle with the first Kimono Girl. I believe that this is... Naoko? No, this is Zuki. Okay. Zuki has an Umbreon. All of these girls have an Evolution. Um, and I think I may have picked a bad choice for this one. Well, in my defense, it has been a while since I played Gold and Silver, and I never played Crystal, so... Let's try! Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't put sand in my ass. Right, let's give you a Poison Powder. And it didn't... Okay. There we go. And unfortunately for the Umbreon, it does not have the ability to synchronize. So that'll be a good thing for me. As I will start hindering its its HP, which is awfully nice, and I love it. Okay. Go for another race. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, fortunately, I'm already given a damage at the end of every turn, so I guess it really doesn't matter that much. Also, I gotta say, I guess I can cover these Pokemon right here. Um, Umpreon. Is a freaking tank. It can wall both physical and special attacks. If you want to have a good wall, look look at Umbreon. Now there are a couple of other good ones later on out there that I could recommend a little bit more. But then again, this is an EV illusion after all. All right, Zuki was defeated. I don't have any Pokemon left. What a shame. Oh hello. Hello. Hi Derek, how are you? I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, it's in your PC, you'll like it. I have yet to check that. So I'll check that after this. I always dance with, the, with my Pokemon. Of course, I also train them. Alright, I take it you're a Sayo? Yes, she has an Espeon. Espeon is a great special attacker. It has some of the highest special attacks of the non-legendary group in this particular generation, and I love it. Unfortunately, his defenses are pretty terrible, like you've just seen right there. So there you go. Alright. Oh, so close. I almost had you. Close, but no cigar for you. Alright. Now this one right here is Naoko. I believe it is. Yes, 
Her Pokemon is a Flareon. Flareon is a very interesting fire type Pokemon. It's more of a physically offensive Pokemon rather than special, like those fire types are. Fortunately, it gets a whole lot better in a later generation, especially in Generation 4, when some of its physical fire type moves have gotten introduced. And ever since Generation 4, it gotten so much better, and I love it. Oh, you are very strong with a non-evolution, with a non-involved Eevee. Yeah. So anyway, um, like I said, Flareon's not bad. It just got, it's just not great in this particular game because it's a physical attacker. But I would recommend it more in a later generation. So with that aside, this is Kuni. She will have a Vaporeon. Vaporeon is a great bulky water type and it has a ton of HP. If you want to have a good water type Pokemon that has a lot of HP, Vaporeon's a good one. The only downside is, it's not the fastest in Pokemon, it doesn't give out a good amount of damage like most other water types do. But, all in all, it's not a bad Pokemon. But, I mostly would recommend it if you want a decent wall. In terms of defense, of course. Alright, you're stronger than you look. Well, I am a 10 year old guy. Alright, anyway. This is the last one, and this is Miki. As you couldn't figure it out by now, Nikki has Jolteon. Jolteon is a very fast Pokemon. And it's actually tied with Voltorb to having the fastest speed of them all. Until it later got trumped by Electro. But anyway, Jolteon is a great special attacker and can dish out a lot of good electric attacks like nobody's business. Um, all in all, all five of these Pokemon are not bad. I wouldn't really recommend Flareon, but I guess the one I would probably recommend more would have to be Jolteon, Espeon, or Umpreon. Any one of those three will work just as good. Alrighty, and we'll go for a Razor Leaf, and there we go. Very nice. Ooh, you're good at Pokemon, too. Why, oh, thank you. Alright, now that we're done with that, we want to go and talk to this guy right here. Not only are the Kimo Girls great dancers, they're also scared at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never even left a scratch. The way you battled, it was like watching a dance. It was a rare treat to see. I, won't, I want you to have this. Don't worry. Take it. He gives us HMO3! Surf! Which is a very nice move. To move that, let's Pokemon swim across water. Brad, can any of my Pokemon learn that? I'm pretty sure that one of them does. Actually, yeah. Duh. Quagsire. Or Quagmire. Man, I'm done today. I am dumb. So let's go ahead and teach that to Quagmire. Uh, I'm going to keep Water Gun for a while. And I think I just got rid of it. Never mind. Forget that I said anything. I was originally thinking of getting rid of one other move. But I never mind at this point. But anyway, um, now that we're done here in Ecritique, um, we can finally head out this way. Um, real quick, I also took care of all these trainers out here already, so that's it. Um, but while we're out here, there are three new Pokemon that you can find out here. One of them is Magnemite. Magnemite is a fantastic electric steel type. I recommend this Pokemon, especially in Crystal. Since you cannot get more reef in any place. Um, but all in all, it's actually not a bad Pokemon to say the least. Um, now, another Pokemon you can find out here, I'm actually thinking of using it on my team. It's not this one, and that is Tauros. Tauros is an awesome physical attacker. Doesn't evolve, doesn't need to. If you want to have a good physical attacker, you got it. Because Tauros is practically the one that I would recommend the most. Uh, they only appear at 5% of the time, and they only can be found at level 13, only in the morning and in the daytime. So if you can find this thing and catch it, I commend you for this. Now the last Pokemon you can find out here, and that is Miltank. As you can tell it already, Miltank is a tank, and it's also very quick despite on how much of a defensive Pokemon it is. 
Um, I don't really recommend Mill Tank even more. I would mostly... I've already got a pretty good physical wall already. So, I'm gonna be going around the place until I can find myself... A Tauros. And I actually plan on using it on my team. So, if you guys don't mind, I will be cutting ahead until I can find myself a Tauros. Unless this is it. Nope, this is not it. Okay, I actually managed to find one. Okay, so let's hopefully that we can catch this thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go for a tackle. Hopefully that you shouldn't take it out. Okay, I actually did a whole lot less than I thought. Okay, let's go for another tackle. But yeah, this is the fifth member of my team. I know, crazy, right? All right, unfortunately I did stock up on some great balls. So let's go ahead and try to catch this Tauros. One. Oh, come on. Let's not have another pseudo Wudo moment here. I mean, granted, yeah, Tauros is a pretty hard Pokemon to catch, but I, I really like Tauros a whole lot, and I would definitely recommend it for you to have on your team. And oh, I'm fine. 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 Also, just to say, its catch rate is 45, so if this thing can be pretty difficult to get. Come on! Oh, come on! Why are you doing this to me? Okay, you know what? Let's try a Pokeball. Let's just be stupid and go for a Pokeball. Come on! Dingus, dang it! Ah, uh, where's this, where's hypnosis when I need it? In fact, I probably would have recommend hypnosis a little bit more thanks to this. There we go! Got it! Woo! All right, so let's take a look at those Tauros here. Tauros, the wild bull Pokemon. These violent Pokemon fight with other members of their herd in order to prove their strength. Alright, now that we've finally gotten that, uh, let's think here. Hmm. Uh, I don't really have an idea for one at this particular moment, so I guess I can go ahead and with this one. Uh, oh, sorry. Longhorn. Alright, so it was actually sent over to the PC, so... I'm gonna go ahead and get my, um... Tauros out. And then we can press on. And unfortunately, that's gonna be a little while. Until we can get on. we we'll move on. But actually, you know what? I'll be right back. I'll, I'll go ahead and get it real quick, and I'll come back to right here, okay? Okay, I'm back. So, I'm actually gonna go ahead and... Um, take care of a couple of these trainers when we reach Olivine City because that's actually where we're going to be heading for next. Now, I am going to be working with that Tauros off screen as it. I'm battling myself with a Pikachu. I'm freaking jealous. Okay, but in all honesty. While I am a big Pokemon fan, I'm not that much of a fan. This guy looks like he came from Generation 1. My god. But anyway. Um, I'm actually going to take care of these trainers off screen. Because I'm actually running a little bit low on time here. So, without any further ado, welcome to Olivine City. And along the way... Oh, hello. You again? There's no need to panic. I don't want to bother with wimps like you. Speaking of weaklings... The city's Pokemon gym leader isn't here. Supposedly taking care of a sick uh, Pokemon at the lighthouse. <laughs> Boo hoo, just let sick Pokemon go. Pokemon can't battle. They can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows? It might make you a bit less weak. I do not like him. But anyway. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit more exploring around Olivine his City in the next episode. Alright, so, next time, we're going to be doing what we can in Olivine City, and see what we're going to do afterwards, alright? See you guys then!